Shalom amigos, this is testing day once again. I apologize for shortage of videos, reason is school, so, but while I have just a little bit amount of time, I thought I'd do something nice and quick for you guys. Thank you for subscribing, keeping subscribed. I have over 100 subscribers, so thanks to you guys. Uh, thank you so much. I did not put these torches there. Anyway, we are playing Mind Test, which before I go any further, let me say it is not a clone of Minecraft. It is written in C++. It is open source. <coughs> Also, let me also say that I do play both Minecraft and Mine Text. In the latest development version, we have sound. The latest development version is readily available to download and install via the RTS repositories. For Ubuntu users, you'll have to add an extra repository. You just look it up on the Mine Test website, and you'll be able to get it. It's also really easy to you host up a multiplayer server. It's also possible to use single-player maps and the multiplayer servers. I have already done so. For example, this map. Hang on. Sorry, just getting more comfortable. Anyways. Press R to view the whole shebang, rather than have it fogged up. If you have fast and flight enabled, you can do some, like, flighty stuff. And at super speeds. If you don't have flight enabled, you can still move pretty fast. You have to grant yourself the user permissions, though. Which can be done like slash grant single player fast. In single player mode, you're always named single player. You don't have to make an account to use mine test. Again, it is open source. Still in development, and while the development cycle is pretty slow, it's still a fairly decent game. One day I decided just how deep I can go as soon as I found out how to fly down really fast. After about a few hours, I said, you know what, I'm just going to say there is no end. At least to the bottom. Let's test out the top now. And that's what I've been working on here, let me show you. Then this place up there, take a deep breath, press space to ascend and E to descend. That's right, with ladders, you don't even have to use the arrow keys. You just pr keep on pressing that space bar. Ah. I will seriously subscribe to anybody who can show me some... Really good as in like bring out the nose plugs and tape over your mouth or whatever. Really good proof that uh, you seriously have held your breath for the whole thing. I had that much time on my hands. And this was made a few months back. I've been working on it ever since. Let me show you what else I've been working on as soon as we get up there. As a rule for anybody who joins this server, I have them use this ladder at least once. After which I give them flight and speed so that they can get up here quicker. I'm in creative mode, so whenever I open the inventory, it shows all these stuff. However, that is, of course, not all the items within the game. So I'm thinking on taking it out of creative mode, simply for the fact that it is easier to craft things. For example, you don't see doors in the inventory. I would, of course, uh, give whoever joins the full ability to use as many chests as they like and put down as many of them as they like, put down as much stuff in those chests as they like before I switch it off of creative mode. Eventually we'll run out because of what I have up there, but uh, yeah. We are above the clouds now. I hope you can, guys can still breathe. <laughs> I'm using GLC to record the video. Using Audacity, which I'm sorry if... Actually, yeah, I think that I accidentally left the speakers on so that... If I would normally recording with FFmpeg, which unfortunately stopped working after the first minute or so, which is why I had to re-record with GLC. So you may hear dual sounds. I'm sorry for that about that. And you know what? I'll just turn off the sound right now. I will. Or better yet, ah, I'll just plug in my headphones. How about that? Nice and easy. Ah. Moving on. You don't have to count that. You can take a breath. Actually, don't take a breath. Just fast forward that part. You know, just forget about the contest altogether. We're above clouds now. We. It is still going. Anyway, as far as what I've been up to, counting school, um, well, in whatever spare time I get, I check up what my subscribers, the subscriptions have been up to. Um, if you're watching this channel and don't know Jake to W93, I don't know what's wrong with you, go check out his channel. There are a lot of other better Linux gamers with better schedule times, too. Mmm. Um, 
Um, oh, I also found uh, Linux Fails 2, better known, at least to me, as Lying Fail Times 2, one of his alternate accounts he used to comment on another video. I found him, I recognized him, he didn't deny it as soon as I asked if it was him, and said he kept on going about the same four or five things that he calls facts to talk about how much Linux sucks. I'm like, dude, I repeatedly proved to you all these points now, already. He went on about iTunes, how it won't work under Linux with Wine. I'm like, okay, I just searched it, and it's been working well with Wine for at least since 2010. He kept on going with Netflix. I'm like, I already proved to you Netflix is coming to Linux by the fact that Netflix user makers use Ubuntu and other distros themselves. They themselves said it's coming to Linux. And for the meanwhile, we have XBMC, which has an Xbox plugin, therefore... Linux to XBMC, which is native to Netflix. Ta-da! He kept on going on and on. He said, Linux is bug-ridden and everything, and you're a moron to think otherwise. I'm like, okay, does that, that mean that Facebook, Twitter, Google, probably YouTube as well, are all morons? In that case, you're also moronic, seeing as your whole comment is hosted via Linux. He has not responded to me, responded to me since. He does not like me one bit. Uh, oh, also I'm getting back into 2D animation. Most specifically vector-based animation. One of the main reasons for starting up in 3D was because when the character's there, that's it, he's there. I didn't want to have to redraw and redraw and redraw. That would just take forever. That and my drawing sucks. Hey, look, a torch. That's what that is. Since then, I've been smarter and found a pretty good vector-based animation program. We are really high up. The program I'm using is called Cinevig, learning it. Learning it actually pretty decently quick. Just the other day, I started up say, okay, let's try and doodle. I made a pretty decent eye. Had a blink, had to move around. Granted, I had no clue what I'm doing. Is there a ladder missing? Let me fix that real quick. Alrighty. Again, I had no clue what I was doing, but I made a still pretty decent animation, which, and really, really fast, too. Like, under the hour. Full t color, texture, detail. Which is more than I can do in Blender. But I'm using Blender more for special effects. At the very least, it would be proved beneficial if I am a versatile 2D and 3D artist. We are extremely high up right now. We have finally made it, whoa, don't look over that edge, to the top. Congratulations on making the 5 plus minute trip up. By now I'm sure you're missing your ability to breathe. So I had trees and stuff. Take a deep breath now and before you leave. Yep, these are my trees. Yep. Oh. <clears throat> the other users did all. Put all these eh, picks here. Except for those three. I just did that. Look, it's like a pick farm here. Okay. I had a little board displayed. I'm like, okay, this is what I'm planning on doing with the place. Choose your side. I'm going to split it into four groups. That's the entrance, right there. See? There. Eh. Oh. This is a nice little entrance. Has fence that I'm planning on removing and having huge, huge doors replaced with. Why? Because this place is going to be a castle-like place. Oh. Eh. The other three players I have, I believe their usernames are Giraffe. Uh, Peter, myself, Loon, I think that's Giraffe's lava fall there. Anyway, the other one, I'm pretty sure she's still deciding on her username. It's going to either be Gavadabla, however that's pronounced, or FangirlXD. This is one-fourth. Let me load all this. It used to be marked by stones, but we just put torches on it for simplicity. And the fact that we're going to fill in the place. Hmm, this is another half. I'm not sure why there are two rows of torches. This is my square half, I believe. Again, still yet to be filled. Random pieces of land just generated. Believe it or not. We are really, really high up. In fact, uh, no, I'm going to at least finish 
Let this finish rendering out the whole land. I can fly at super speeds. This is going to be a huge palace castle type place. We're all going to build it together. Why? Because I do not have enough time to build it myself. I've made it this far when I had spare time. This probably was not a smart thing to do considering high school. But then again, this was be from before I had all the problems with catching up from school. This is one thing that you cannot do in Minecraft. Why? Because the limit is like 300 some blocks up. Okay, that's the entrance again. Let me go up here. I love the way that lava fall looks at night. Does it just randomly stop in the sky? It's interesting. Anyway. I counted that thing myself. It is 300 by 300 blocks. We are randomly just loading all the ground beneath for some reason. There's a little something there that I believe yet to be decided the username has made with Draffy. What people do with their castle if they want to extend it, that's fine. If they want to combine it, that's fine. As a rule, I just make sure that everybody agrees. I don't want any arguments on my server. Anyway, that is what I have done here in my test. Where's the place? Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. What? I've been falling. That's like a piece of random. Oh, somebody decided to mark the middle. I just realized that. Alrighty. So, mind test. Pretty fun game. Very, whole lot easier to sign up, make an account. It's completely free. And you don't have to sign up and make an account. That's what makes it all a whole lot easier. You just type in a username, go to like the locally hosted server, and start playing. Of course, that means that you don't have an account to bind the skin to. But you can make your own textures. It's actually pretty easy. Um, yeah, the only downside really is that you can't have any skins. Well, you can change what other people look like to you, but they can't see your own skin. They see whatever they have it set to. I think that's the only downside. I mean, it's a lot more fun to play in, considering that you can go infinitely up, infinitely down. Maybe there really is a limit, but can anyone who's not in creative mode really make it there? Really? I mean, I'm in creative mode, and I still haven't made it there. It uses the Ehrlich engine for uh, creating terrain, which is really good. Yeah, really good game. Give it a try. It's free. Why not? It is free. Okay, so that's all the time I have for. I'm going to uh, edit this in Blender with whatever left spare time I have. And probably upload another video from oh, a week or two ago. Where Luna and Peter are playing Mario Part 2. Whoa. That's right, we've made our Part 2. It shall be uploaded soon. This time I would be recording from XFCE. I do, I'm doing a lot of desktop environment hopping, huh? Yeah. But on the bright side, it's no longer distro hopping. Arch is my home sweet home, baby. Yeah. I shall see you next time. Shalom, amigos.